Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Frank from Brilliantly Epic, and this is episode 11 of First Impressions. And this is a game based on a show that my friends and I used to watch a lot in college. This show is fucking awesome. If you haven't watched it, you need to go watch it right now because it's it's really funny. It's on Comedy Central. I don't know if it's still on. I haven't really ca- uh, kept up with it at all. I haven't watched it since, like, 2011 back in college. But, yeah, this, this show is fucking awesome. So, shut up, cutscene. Is that what you call intercourse? I don't have time for this. We're over. You can't just walk out on me. Just watch me. But I'm pregnant with your love child. Oh, snap. So the show's called Ugly Americans. The game is called Ugly Americans Apoxalipic... Apoc... I uh, that's, that's a tough one to pronounce, but... Yeah, uh, the show's fucking awesome. I... I've never played this game before. I never heard of it until like yesterday. So check it out. See how it is. Uh, looks like it's an online game. So sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this game's well known or not. I doubt very many people are, are playing. Uh, so I'll just play alone. Yeah. Okay. So. The show basically follows Mark Lilly. He is a social worker who works with demons and zombies and supernatural beings, I guess. His roommate's a zombie named Randall, who you can't play as in the game. Callie's his girlfriend. She's like a, a half demon, I think. I think her dad is Satan, maybe? But I could be wrong about that. Uh, yeah, and basically it's it's a just fucking weird show, and it's it's awesome. So, all right, who should I be? I want to be Leonard Powers because he's an alcoholic wizard, Are and uh, ready for some magic. Yeah, he's he's fucking awesome. All right, shut up, cutscene again. Oh, not again. Jeez, kiddo, rough night. Ah, oh, Leonard, do you know any hangover curing spells? Believe me, if I knew how to cure a hangover, I'd come into work a lot more. This is why you don't go out drinking with a zombie. What is with the sex doll? Oh, this is Sheila. I'm trying to make my ex jealous. Hmm, isn't she dope? Good plan. So listen, word on the street is we just got a crap load of new case files. If Twain asks, I was never here. All right, subordinates, listen up. Say, Leonard, who's your friend? Oh, this is Sheila. She's sort of my girlfriend, and... Focus, Twain. Of course. Something big is happening out there. Riots, arson, citywide manbird infestations. Oh, my God. Sounds like a social worker's perfect storm. Just think of all the confused new citizens we can help. You're missing the point, Mark. With all the troublemaking, we have a golden opportunity to make our quarterly quota in arrests. Hey, you guys. It's amazing out there. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Illegal zombie conversion. Blam! Birdman snatching a purse. Shotgun. Demon wearing a homeless guy's skin like a suit. Kaboom! I love you, BSU 2000. What is that thing, anyway? It's the Blow Shit Up 2000. Has the power to turn anything into a murderous projectile. We save big bucks on ammo, plus I get to see what it feels like to shoot a desk lamp into someone's head. It's like my dreams are all coming true. Come on, Leonard, we better get started before Grimes kills everything in sight. But, Mark, I promised I'd take Sheila to the movies. Leonard! Oh, fine. Be back in a jiffy, babe. Definitely wait up, if you know what I mean. I'm talking about intercourse. Okay, so I don't know why their mouths aren't moving when they talk. Um, it's not really what the show is like. My guess is this is just, like, super low budget and stuff, but uh, we'll see how it is. So, man birds, they're fucking hilarious. Uh, I think all they say is suck my balls and they have like New York accents. So I'll do that as the first mission. Yeah. Star case file number one. Nice. All right. So I am Leonard the wizard and 
So far, no controls. Oh, except for that. I don't know what that just fucking did. That was weird. Uh, so what am I doing here? Oh. How did I... Okay, so it's just a... Side-scrolling shooter, I guess. This is strange. Um, I mean, the show, it's, it's like a comedy show on Comedy Central. I think it would be hard to turn. Oh, uh, you got new ammo types, it looks like. Yeah, it'd be kind of hard to turn something like this into a game anyway. Um, the show is, the show is really funny, though. You should, you should check out the show if you can. Yeah, I wonder if you do anything else or if you just run around and, like, shoot shit. Ooh, money. money. Money, money. Yeah, the man birds are fucking funny, though. They have uh, socks on their dicks. And they, they run around stealing people's purses and saying, suck my balls and stuff. I think the people saying, like, Gobble my knob, suck my balls. That's that's the man birds. So they do say more than one thing, but they're just really rude and obnoxious. And they shit everywhere. I don't know what the fuck that does. So yeah, welcome to New York. This is Central Park. If you've never been, this is what it's like, actually. There are man birds that uh, wear socks on their dick. It's a lot less nice than people will think. You know, everyone thinks of Central Park as being like this really nice spot to have a picnic or something. It's not actually like that. It's a little more like this. Uh, I picked up a thing. Cool. So I move faster and I shoot faster. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there's power-ups. The enemies drop randomly. I want to see what the R does uh, when they're enemies. I guess it just blows up stuff around you. And I think that's the other thing about Leonard. He's like a shitty wizard, so all of his spells don't really work right. I, re I really wish I remembered the show better. So yeah, let's... Oh, I'm out of magic, I guess? Uh, I guess the blue bar has to be full to use the magic attack. And I'm actually close to dying. Yeah, there we go. So the R is a magic attack. I guess everyone's is probably different. Mine is like an area of effect thing. Ooh, Chalupa. Shout out to Chalupa Batman, AKA Brandon, AKA my boss. AKA it's a character from the league, I think. I'm still getting caught up on the league. I haven't gotten that far yet, so. I don't know if it's actually a character in that show or, ooh. I want hammers. This is pretty cool. This actually, I mean, it's a simple game, but I bought it for $2, I think. And uh, if you get a, get a couple friends playing this, this actually probably be pretty fun. It's a little bit like Contra with the different weapon power-ups and stuff. It's like a funny Contra where you can level up. Leonard was here. Ow, dick. Uh, this one, yeah, he has a boxing glove on his dick. He might be like a special. Gotcha. Yeah, these guys are powered up. Yeah. I want to see Randall. He's my favorite character. He, uh, Randall is Mark's roommate and he's a zombie. And he became a zombie when his uh, girlfriend, it was either his girlfriend broke up with him or his girlfriend was a zombie and broke up with him. And he became a zombie to like get back together with her, but I think she still ended up dumping him or something like that. 
So he became a zombie and now he like hates it because he did it for his ex. So yeah, what is that saying? Um, yeah, I hope Randall shows up. He's he's my favorite character in the show. Ow, he becomes a zombie and he, like, he like immediately regrets yes, it. Oh, I like the paint gun. It's like the spread gun from Contra a little bit. Yeah, this is like a little bit like Contra. That's like the one thing I would compare it to. Die. Die. Suck my balls. Uh, I love I love these guys. The episode with them is is fucking hilarious. Ah, dick. Paint the paint gun's not that good actually. Yeah, I like the baseballs. That's much better. So yeah, obviously a little bit repetitive. Um, I'll see what the second level looks like. If it's kind of more of the same, then this game's nothing real special. It's just kind of the standard side scrolling beat em up. Where it's it's always better with friends, but you know. If you don't have friends like me, then you're kinda of fucked. Oh, no, my cowboy boots. What did I do? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's actually kinda of hard. It's probably a lot like Final Exam where it's easier with multiple people. And playing alone is uh not advised. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Do you wanna do you wanna play this with me? Not really. Okay. Have you ever seen the show? Ugly Americans? No. Okay. Have you ever heard of the show? No. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. It wasn't it wasn't a big show. I don't remember many people talking about it. My friends and I all loved it. it so good. Uh, I died. Oh yeah, and the koala, he always cried. <laughs> I forget like what he was even, but Okay, so I got three points to spend, it looks like. Mmm. Do strength. Max health. Movement speed, and that's all I can afford now. So that's kind of cool. You upgrade your character. Yeah! Yeah, you just gotta start completely over. Okay, so. That, that kind of sucks. It's a little unforgiving. There's no checkpoints. At least I didn't get to one yet. So let's see if I can do it this time. Yeah, this is one of those games again that I think would make a better iOS game than an Xbox game. Like if you, this would make a great game to play on the phone, like on the go. Cause the real only controls are, are move, shoot, and then the special attack. So you could totally do that on a touch screen. And this is the kind of game that would just be a lot of fun to play on a phone while you're like riding on the train or something. I would totally pay like three dollars to get this on my phone. I will say, playing this game makes me really want to watch the show again. I'm gonna have to see if it's on Netflix. I guess that's probably what they're kind of going for. Have people play this and then be like, oh, I want to go watch Comedy Central. Yo, my cats are fucking going at it. Okay, so I think I'm back to where I was when I died. It's a little bit hard to tell. Uh, just because everything kind of looks the same. But this seems to be kind of like a... Yeah, I can't really move forward. I think this is where I was. Oh, god damn it, I died again. Yeah, this is a little tough with one person. I'll upgrade some more shit. Strength, health, strength again. Why not? I'll see what this, uh, where is it? The DOI? 
Let's see what this is. This is probably where you can upgrade stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, you, that's cool. You can choose your weapon. Uh, what? No. Snow globe, hammer, paint can. Oh, it's on now. Uh, I guess you change your starting weapon. Doesn't look like you can upgrade them though. Uh, I want to see if changing characters. And salutations and whatever your native tongue may be. I want to see if changing characters changes your stats and if you have to level them up individually. All right, so I'm back here again. Let's see if I can do this this time. Really hope I can. Just want to see what the beating a level looks like. I don't need the taco. It gives you health. Uh, now I need it, but... Oh, special! Oh, that special is not very useful. Oh, shit. Oh, I beat it. Yay, I beat it. Uh, okay, so each character levels up independently. That sucks. Mm. Do strength. Okay, so that was the first level. Um, I still don't know what the money is used for, but I'm going to try out one more person. I'm going to try Callie. Now let's try mission two. Fantastic. Uh, I'm fighting zombies now. Yeah, it's the same thing every mission, it looks like. Still don't know what the money's used for. I imagine you probably use it to upgrade something at some point, or maybe buy skins for the characters, or maybe you buy additional characters. So maybe that's how you get Randall. Uh, let's see what her special is. Oh, she does that thing that... That is a lot better than the other guy. There's something in the show where... I think it's like when she gets her period, that's what happens or something. I'm not even kidding, that's cool, because she's like half demon. So she's half human and half demon. So she still gets a monthly period, but it, she like destroys things when she does. Something like that. I, don't know, I haven't seen the show in a while, but something like that. Yeah, so like what I like I said, this is this is the kind of game that would be perfect for a uh, phone or something like that. It's nothing special. It's it would be better with friends, but alone it gets pretty repetitive pretty quick, and it's actually pretty difficult. But if this was if this was on the phone, I would I would totally get this game. Got your voicemail, Doug. Saturday works for me. Alright, I'm gonna special him. Oh, special not up yet. Oh god. Yeah, so if you're f if you're a fan of the show, I would say this game's probably worth getting. It was only two dollars in the arcade. And if you get a group of friends together, this could be pretty fun. Other than that, though, like, if you've never seen the show before, I just recommend watching the show. Shout out to Ugly Americans. It's a fucking fantastic show. I don't know if it's still on, but if it is, definitely watch it. Yeah, other than that, this game's pretty, pretty mediocre. So, yeah, this is Frank from Brilliantly Epic, and I will see you next week. Yeah! Oh, they didn't even kill him. It stunned him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you do get extra weapons in the subsequent levels. That's pretty cool. Except I'm missing terribly. Wow. Holy shit. This does a lot of damage, though. Yeah, anyway, guys. Uh, this is Frank from Brilliantly Epic. Check out First Impressions next week. And I am going to go watch Ugly Americans now. See you guys later. Bye.